Well, Google just released a very exciting AI model called Gemini 2.5 Computer Use. Now, what you need to know about this model is it is basically able to control a computer or to be more specifically, a browser. So you can ask this AI model to perform tasks that usually only a real person can do. For example, you can ask this AI model to navigate to a specific article or blog post on the internet and then summarize the whole content back to you. Now, what would happen is this AI model will actually open up a browser and then perhaps it will navigate to Google first and then type some keywords and then navigate to the website that you're looking for and then reading all of the content and then summarizing the, the whole article back to you. So these activities are, again, can only be done by a real person because it requires some interaction. But this AI model is able to emulate that interaction. It can see the pages, it can click on some links, some buttons, menus, etc. And the implication here is quite huge because that means you can ask this AI model to perform tasks that are somewhat complicated. Like for example, you can ask this AI model to change something on a document or perhaps modify the meeting schedule for the next week. This is something that is now possible. Now, technically, this is not a new type of AI agent because we have seen something like this for quite some time. We have the agent mode in ChatGPT. There is also a similar feature in Manus AI and uh, GenSpark AI. But finally, we have something from Google. But actually, this is not new because this was part of Project Mariner, which was introduced, I think, about a year ago. But now we have the preview via API. So if you are a developer, you can actually start utilizing this AI model. And perhaps you can do some testing because they do release the GitHub repo. So if you're interested, I'm going to leave the repo link in the video description down below. Now. The question is, if you are not a developer and you just want to use this AI model to perform something, is there any way to, you know, use it without having to set up some very complicated environment for this AI model? Well, surprisingly, yes, there is actually a, a simple way to try the demo of this AI model. So this is the announcement page from Google. But if you scroll down to the very end, there is actually a demo link right here right now in a demo environment hosted by browser base so just click on this link and by the way i'm going to provide the link for this browser page so you don't have to navigate to this blog post from google i'm going to open it and yeah okay so this is what it looked like and by the way this is one example that still running at the moment it is playing the 2048 game as you can see it is able to control uh, the the game basically it's like human it can interact with the page so it's very very interesting okay still doing the game apparently it is game over that's why it stopped but again it is able to do that something that a regular large language model cannot do now let me just go back to the home page and here i'm going to be tasking this air model to Go to Mr. Beast channel, uh, navigate to the videos menu, and then open the newest video, and then tell me what was the pinned comment on that video. So that's my prompt. Let me just verify it. Go to Mr. Beast channel, navigate to the videos menu, open the newest video, and tell me what was the pinned comment on that video. Okay, let me just click run and just wait. As you can see, it is opening up a browser first and it will navigate to Google. Of course, there's no reason it's using Bing. It is a Google product after all. And you can actually see the preview, the, the action in real time. It's very interesting to see that happening because it is kind of a feedback at the same time. So if there is something that AI did wrong, then you can stop it and you can modify the instruction again. And hopefully on the next iteration, it can perform tasks exactly the way you wanted. So at the moment, this is still a demo and there is a five limit 
five, sorry, five minute limit. So if there's any task that is too long or too complicated, then it will be stopped automatically. So it is only for demo. I mean, you can use it for something more productive, but you have to be aware of the five minute constraint. Anyway, this process might take quite some time, but I think you get the point. It is able to navigate to a website, visit some links, etc. It can interact with the pages. So I'll just keep a watch and show you the final result. Okay, it is done and it was actually faster than I expected. So it says that according to this AI research, the pin comment from the video is, I can't believe how much uh, has changed. So this is the pin comment according to the AI. Now let's see if that is actually true. Well, it is exactly the same thing that was reported back by AI. So. Yeah, as you can see, this is a fantastic AI model that can perform tasks just like the, uh, a real person would do. So I cannot wait about how Google will implement this technology into their products and perhaps we can use uh, this AI model to make our life a lot easier and more productive. So that's how you can access the Gemini 2.5 computer use via the Gemini browser-based demo. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on my next video. I wish you a great day ahead.